Hello, Colorado State University Class of 2020. Congratulations, you did it. I know today isn't quite how any of us pictured this big moment, but the fact that we're here today celebrating your achievements is a tribute to the resilience of the entire RAM community. All of you who suddenly found yourselves finishing up years of hard work in a new virtual environment. Faculty who also had to make that swift transition to assure you'd make it to the finish line with the education you'd been promised. And now all of your families and friends who are joining us for this virtual celebration. I wish we could all be here on campus together to celebrate, especially because the trees on the Oval are beginning to flourish at this time of year. I miss being on the Oval every day. It's made me realize that our CSU community, like our beautiful green campus, is a kind of ecosystem in which we all depend on one another. The challenges of these past months may have kept us physically apart, yet facing them has bound us more closely together. There's a kind of fragility inherent in that interdependence, and it impacts even wonderful moments like celebrating your graduation from CSU. It feels strange not to be physically with all of you, not to be able to shake hands, high five, or hug. And I know you feel that way about the friends who have made this journey with you and the faculty and staff mentors who've made it possible. But over the last few months, I have also seen this community and all of you in particular exhibit an incredible strength and resiliency that generations have shared and experienced in difficult times. Times of war, times of economic upheaval, and yes, times of pandemic. That resiliency is rooted in our land grant mission. As a university, Colorado State was born in a time of crisis and founded on a revolutionary commitment to access, to generating knowledge, and to use it to meet the world's biggest and most complex challenges. All of you inherit that legacy of resilience and will carry it forward. The class of 2020 is one for the history books and an example for future generations. I can't wait to see where your journeys take you and how you will use your CSU education to change our world for the better. As your president, I am incredibly proud of all of you. Let's celebrate this unforgettable moment, physically separated, yet truly together. Hello, my name is Jonah Goose, and I am honored to represent Fort Collins, Colorado State University, and the wonderful people of this Colorado Second Congressional District in the United States House of Representatives. I just wanted to send you all a huge congratulations to each and every one of the students graduating this spring. I know that this is not how you envisioned your last semester, but I hope that you are staying safe and healthy. And I know that we will get through this pandemic together. You all have put in a great deal of work, years of hard work, and you all should be proud of this incredible academic accomplishment. In these unprecedented times, it is critical to have thoughtful, dedicated, and knowledgeable leaders. And it heartens me to know that a new class of leaders are graduating from Colorado State University who will be leading our state and our country for years to come. So please stay safe, stay healthy, and stay hopeful. And again, congratulations. Congratulations to all of our graduates here today and to your families. It's a wonderful moment to enjoy, to reflect on all of your accomplishments and to look with hope to the future to future accomplishments, triumphs, and successes. I'm Rick Miranda, Provost here at Colorado State, and as such, I lead the Division of Academic Affairs, all the faculty, the academic departments, the colleges, etc. I am continually amazed, day after day, year after year, not only at the disciplinary accomplishments of our faculty, but also at their humanity, their humility, and their desire to make a difference and their genuine concern for you, our students. Let me speak for our faculty when I report that we are greatly honored to have worked with you these years. Indeed, you give us the best opportunities to make a difference in our careers. I trust that you have felt that too, 
and that your years here at CSU will have set you on a path that will make us all proud. You know, finally, we're in the education business here, and I want to close with the pitch. Pay that education forward. Insist on quality and work to improve education at all levels, in your own family, in your local community schools, and in our state universities. We look forward to your future and your support. And with your and others' help, students for many generations to come will be preparing for accomplishments and success here at Colorado State University. Thank you. Extraordinary times call for extraordinary measures. And we're gathering today to honor an extraordinary achievement, your graduation from Colorado State University. If this were your actual commencement, you'd have been sitting for a while listening to the strains of pomp and circumstance and watching hundreds of your professors and fellow students filing into the rows of folding chairs for the most timeless and important tradition of higher education, the commencement of our graduates. You'd also see me dressed as I am in the puffy hat and gown. But it's not the formality, the music, or the robes that make this transition important. It's the symbolism of honoring your work, the work that brought you to this point, the investment our faculty and university have made in you, the support and commitment of your family and friends, and the promise of your future from this moment on. And so, knowing that your real ceremony is still a few months away, please allow me to offer you a short preview. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System, I hereby confer upon you your degrees with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereunto. Congratulations. If this were an actual commencement, you would be now sitting down for the charge to the class or the commencement address. Let's face it, nobody's going to miss that. These things are usually mind-numbingly boring, and I have yet to find someone who remembers one thing that was said in one of them. I certainly don't remember what I've heard. On a good day, I can remember what I've said at some of them. But I do want to leave you with this thought. You all have the ability to make a difference in this world. You're amazingly talented, or you wouldn't be here. You know great resilience, or you wouldn't be here. You graduate into a time of immense challenge, and yet you know how to overcome those things. At the end of the day, you've got an opportunity to do what generations before you have tried to do and sometimes succeeded, but too often failed. And that's to make a difference. My generation has a lot we're proud of, but we've left you a lot of work to do. And I'm confident, knowing you all as I do, that you can do it. So that's my charge to you. It's no more complex than that. Be the best version of you. Live a life that makes a difference. And thank you. Go Rams. Class of 2020, first off, I wanna say congratulations. This is a huge achievement, and speaking from personal experience, it took a lot of work to get here. My name is Savannah Elliott. I graduated this past December with a degree in nutrition and food science, and was honored as the College of Health and Human Sciences outstanding senior. As you can see, I'm recording this video from my bedroom. With the current pandemic, many things have changed in a short period of time. I commend all of you for finishing out your education at CSU and adapting to online learning. I can't even begin to imagine how many extra challenges you have had to face, and my heart goes out to anyone who has experienced a loss during these times. I can only hope that the resilience you have shown during these unpredictable days will carry with you into the next phase of your life wherever or whatever that may be. I can guarantee you there will be more trials in your lifetime, although fingers crossed for no more global scale pandemics. Having qualities such as resilience, dedication, and hard work will allow you to overcome anything that gets thrown your way. The topic of COVID-19 is unavoidable. However, graduation is also supposed to be a time of celebration. I encourage all of you to find ways to celebrate with your friends and family whether that be over video chat or delaying parties until it's safer to gather. 
I would also invite you to reminisce on all the memories you've collected while at CSU. For me, these past years at CSU have allowed me to connect with so many incredible people and explore so many new places and ideas. I can still remember going to Ram Welcome as a scared but eager little freshman. I ended up meeting one of my best friends on the very first day. We have been roommates for the past four years and I'm celebrating her graduation this weekend as well. I am eternally grateful to the CSU community for giving me such a strong foundation to start the rest of my life. To close, I want to applaud your resilience and congratulate you again. Know that your achievements today have not gone unrecognized. And of course, go Rams. Hello, College of Health and Human Science graduates. My name is Lisa Youngblade and I have the privilege of serving as the Dean of the College of Health and Human Sciences. It is my deepest pleasure to congratulate you. You've worked hard, you've made sacrifices, you've persevered, you've hopefully had some fun along the way while learning, and you've adapted to challenges thrown at you by a crisis pandemic. And here you are, graduating. You did it. And let that sink in. You did it. With a commitment to equity and inclusion, the College of Health and Human Sciences is focused on improving the health, education, and well-being of people, their environments, and the communities in which they live. You've prepared yourselves for careers in nutrition and physical health, education, mental and behavioral health, design, merchandising, and construction. In all of your courses, and working with faculty and your fellow students, you've been pushed to think, to create, to innovate, and to consider the potential impact that you can make in your work and in your lives. Along the way, you've also learned many critical life skills, the most important of which is to be resilient. This would have happened in any scenario as you went through your undergraduate experience, but it is so especially true in the way you finished strong in a most unusual and a most challenging situation. And in the midst of a global pandemic, you found the courage, the tenacity, the strength, the connection, and the meaning, in effect, the secret sauce to enable you to complete your degree. A famous researcher, Ann Maston at the University of Minnesota, has written much about resilience and what ingredients lead to resilience in an effort to uncover that secret sauce. She talks about things like social connections, friendships, family support, mentors, teachers, tenacity, grit, a sense of belonging, and a commitment to finding meaning. She talks about these ideas as part of the ordinary magic in our lives the everyday supports that help us negotiate challenges and to be successful. But I can't help but think that today we're celebrating something extraordinary, something profound. You've found a way to master not only the content of your discipline, but to engage in a much, much deeper mastery of resilience in pursuit of your goals, not in an ordinary situation, but in an extraordinary one, and that is true magic. I could not be more proud of any group of graduates from the College of Health and Human Sciences. You've rocked it. So on behalf of the faculty and staff in our college, we congratulate you. We are so proud of you, and we look forward to the impact you will have in working to make our world a better place. As you go out into the world, please know that we will always be here for you. We are your Ramily. So please keep in touch. Let us know about your successes and triumphs and please know that we will be celebrating with pride the extraordinary magic that you are bringing to our world. So well done graduates, congratulations and go Rams. Congratulations, congratulations and go Rams. Go Rams.
Hey, it's Charlie Blackman of the Rockies. Congratulations to the 2020 Colorado State University graduating class. I'm super proud of you guys. You made it. Four tough years, hopefully four. Um, I'm really excited for your future and what you guys bring for the state. So if there ever was a graduating class in recent memory that really deserved this congratulations, it is y'all. I mean, graduating is always about context and the different types of adversities and challenges that you face in order to get to where you are. And given that you stayed the course at this time, well, that really deserves congratulations. I am deeply proud of you all, and I am very excited about the innovation and the dreaming and the skills that you will be bringing to our future despite this context and in spite of where we are now and take us to some place we have never been. Congratulations. Hi, this is Bill Stevenson with The Blasting Room and The Descendants. I'd like to congratulate all the students that are graduating in the spring of 2020. Good job. I know it was a lot of hard work. Congratulations. Please welcome the Potteram, your Colorado State Marching Band.
what's up everybody this is Nate from the band in the whale I hope you're all staying healthy and I want to tell CSU graduates congratulations on graduating and uh, hanging in there hope to see you all at a show soon Congrats to the class of 2020. What a huge accomplishment, congratulations. I'm Derek Thieler, I'm an actor based in Los Angeles. I graduated from Colorado State in 2009. And all I wanna say is, I'm proud to be a CSU Ram. You should be too. Congratulations for all your hard work in making the difficult transition to finishing up your semester online. You will have learned a lot of things from this. Get out there, make the world have a better future. Go Rams. Nick. I'm Amy. 
We're from the band Post Paradise. <laughs> Congratulations on graduating. Um, I'm a CSU alumni too, and I know how hard you've worked to get here, so yay. <laughs> we love Colorado State. Thank you for always being such a great audience, and we wish you nothing but the best. Goodbye. <laughs>
Gradually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everybody, five seconds. Hey, y'all. Uh, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we're lost with the lantern.